American and Soviet forces meet in shattered Germany, ushering in a post-war world of peace and friendship. A friendship that could turn to enmity thanks to one man. Albert Ogilvy, British agent last active in Vichy, France, had many revelations which threatened world peace. It is also believed he stole a significant amount of Vichy gold. He also cast doubts on the fate of Erwin Rommel. I assure you, I'm quite well. And on the fate of President Roosevelt himself. I assure you, I'm quite well, barring the polio. Not to mention the existence of a Nazi base in Antarctica. Welcome into the Fourth Reich, home of us, the nice Nazis, and penguins. But what became of all that gold? Some say it's in Bermuda. Some say the Azores. Or even Kerguelen Islands. Kerguelen. Kerguelen. I don't know, it's a real place. Look it up. It might even be in Hawaii. Hawaii? Hawaii is a myth some sailors talk. Ever been there? No one has. Wherever it is, sinister forces are determined to get at it. Not least the Soviets. And small wonder. In Mother Russia, when there was no vodka, we drank water. And when there was no food, we ate snow. Of course, then the Nazis invaded and things got even worse. But FDR has plans for them. We're going to have a new world war. It's going to be bigger. It's going to be better. It's going to be just beautiful. Nobody does World War Twos like I do. It's going to be beautiful and we'll make the Russians pay for it. More nukes, more bombers, more subs. I'm going to call it World War Two. Two. So only one question remains. What the fuck is going on here? There's only one way to find out. Get ready for the Jubilee Hurrah, hurrah we we'll give the hero three times three, hurrah, hurrah! For the war of Reed is ready now to place upon his loyal brow And we'll all feel gay when Johnny comes marching home And we'll all feel gay when Johnny comes marching home